What's up guys, welcome to Tech Simplified. Here's a quick tutorial on how to create your own personal Python library. And believe me, it may sound overwhelming right now, but it's not. It's just a few lines of code and this is not a full-blown library. This is just a few functions inside a library. So it's, imagine a library that has like only two or three books the library as big as a shopping mall but only two or three books makes no sense right but that's how you start building libraries you start writing your first function and then uh, maybe it goes on to github and people start contributing to it just so say you come across this task that you keep on doing every day like keep on doing every day and not brush your teeth but come here and keep writing the same stuff again and again so you can make maybe make a function out of it and store it in the library and pull that function out whenever you need it so say i need to add two numbers every day since math is not that great i take two values inside my function and i return the addition of them and I'll see if I can try if it works and comma say 40 this is always the toughest right 23 so this works so what we do is we copy this take it out go to Jupyter create a new folder here okay remember we gotta create a folder I don't know why Jupyter does this, but it does not allow you to rename when you create a folder. So maybe there's a way which I don't know. And maybe we we'll create this in my library. And press enter. Go to my library. If you saw that, I had already created another library for this. That was my first library, this is my second library. What you do here is you come here and create a text file, not a Python 3 kernel, but come here, create a text file, paste your function. Maybe you can come and edit here. Maybe you can add another function. Oops, oops. Subtraction takes in two values. This is the main part. You can, you can call them library. So I would like to call it math stuff. And use the dot py extension in this. Okay, so this is basically a Python script. And save it again. Gotta save it like a couple of times. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, and then go back, go back to the there you see this file. I've got to create another file called underscore underscore i i and t or in small case dot py. So it's let me repeat it again. Double underscore i and i t double underscore dot py. Remember that. Save it. Go back to library, there it is. Now you gotta remember this folder because we're gonna import the math stuff from this folder to our library. And this is how we write it import okay, no, no, no. Yeah. from my library import math stuff stiff math stuff. And you got to encode it as an alias or else you have to type match stuff all the time. So I'll just write it and say maybe terrible. Why can I not think of a variable name? We need to write ms for now. Right? What we'll do is write ms dot 
Remember we do store here addition, you can call it now. Yes, addition right say nine fourteen. Uh, that's it. So that's your library created inside a folder. And I don't know what the library is versus a module so if you guys know that leave that in the comment section and yes. uh, I think that's it that's it let's try the subtraction if I can spell it okay. and let's try subtraction nine two or the other way two from nine actually yeah so you can decide with how you want to put the rules so the thing about these libraries are say you say you're a finance guy and you always keep coming across these calculations that you have to keep doing and this maybe it's like a 50 line code of 100 lines of code just keeps you have to always define it to come and store it here and say define finance stuff maybe it takes in a comma b just return a to b or maybe a into a plus b into b just make it more complex in there save it I don't know if I have to save this one but I'll save this one too from here I'm quoting finance stuff and pass in to value 7 comma 8. Okay, it throws me an error saying module my library that my stuff has no attribute finance stuff. Okay, so maybe I'll have to read it again. Okay, where does it keep telling me that? Where did I go wrong? I'll save. Okay, if I save. Testing my patience. My library got matched to this. No, I can really find that stuff. Okay, okay, one second. Can you actually see this function Oops, inside my module? What's going on? What may be the issue? Okay, the tutorial is taking way too long. Uh, I'm assuming you got it through the first part right, but yes, I, I will fix this one in a while. That's how it is. I mean, you come across these problems every day. It's not like, you know, you see these tutorials on YouTube that, you know, it's like everything is well laid out. And so, none of these developers actually know everything. Only for making tutorials, they know their shit. They know their stuff well, they prepare for it, and then, you know, they just speak it out like, 
system within my system, like in absolute fluency. But it's not how it works. You just have to problem solve every day of your life. I hope I don't get a ban for using such words. Man, I can't figure out. I need a break. The problem is if you guys fix this, just leave it down in the comments. I'm too tired today. Sorry guys.